It's all right. I can manage. Come on. Not far now. Hello? Is anyone there? Salim! Something to say to you, a whole speech, something poetic, but... You don't need to say anything. I know, it's just... <laughs> I never thought this would happen. Any of this. You and me, I would never have imagined this. Selim, there is no one I would rather spend my time with. Really? <laughs> really? Stop worrying, I'm in love with you, you idiot. <sighs> you are my heart, Desi Trianum. <laughs> I said no poetry. <laughs> okay. Hold him more tightly, or the stitching will tear. I. Oh, I'm sorry. I will be still. Salim, I have you. I have you. Where did they all go? I won't bring this up again, but I know this won't be easy on you. First time out again, you know? <laughs> so, if you want a break, you want to get away from people, any of that, just say whatever you need. Those who follow, I am Salim Hanachi. I crashed with the crew of the Cassandra on March 3rd, 1937. I and others were injured. We stayed while the rest of the crew went for help. My companions are dead now, and the radio is broken. I cannot wait alone. There is some sort of creature here. I must go after the crew as best I can. They followed the path through the mountain. I will leave signs. Tazi, if I do not find you, and by some chance you are reading this, know that you are my heart. Oh, why couldn't you wait? I'll find you, I promise. Sorry. Without Lucas, I cannot bear it. The rest of you? This is not Salim's fault. I am of sound mind. Ever written. I know him. Oh, Lucas, I think.
I won't stay here. There's something in the tunnels, I swear it. You won't be staying. You'll be with us, and I'll take care of you. Come here. <laughs> My darling Amanda, by now you'll know about the crash and you'll know that our situation is a bit sticky. We're off for a walk through the desert to see if we can find a radio or a village or some other sort of help. Everyone's putting a brave face on it, but no one really knows what's going to happen. So maybe this is it. Maybe this is the last you'll hear. If it is, I'm sorry, my love. I I suppose it's my fault for wanting a big adventure. I should have stayed home after all. Please tell them both that I love them. Tell Susan that she's the best girl in the world. And tell Alfie to look after his sister. Oh, now I'm sitting here with tears in my eyes and my hands are trembling and uh, I just don't know what to write. I don't know how to say goodbye. I can't believe this is goodbye. I love you, my darling girl. I know in my heart we'll see each other again. Even if it's not in this life. You're Jonathan. Is that your daughter? Yes. <laughs> My father keeps nagging me for grandchildren. <laughs> Did you leave her in Paris? Yes. Is she with her grand... Yasmin, I'd like to check the Sadiola samples are packed up. Give me a hand. Of course, Mr. Mitchell. Uh, sorry, Hank. I seem to spend my life around efficient women who think I'm not taking things seriously enough. I went to see Monsieur Esperandio at the market, but he has no more work until next week. I know that Tazi has savings, and I know that something will come, but it is hard. It is not just two of us now. I want to know that I'm keeping them safe. 
This is from Selim's old diary. I'm not sure this is the best idea. me of somewhere else. It feels a bit like the shrine at Douvres, back home. A letter came from Hang Mitchell. He offers her work. A journey to French Sudan. I pray that she will take it. It is what she needs, what both of us need. To 
be away from these memories and back into the world. sense everything he said, but... But it's such stupid fucking self-sacrificing bullshit. Listen, I know Selim, and I know you. I know what you're capable of. He'll make it, and you'll get back to him 
even if all hell stands in your way. I'm so fucking scared, Hank. I know. Someone's been here. Hello? Anyone? I was able to meet them in the park this afternoon after talking to the factory manager at Dinar. A proud moment. Alice has learned to count to three with her blocks. She did. She did. She showed me. There. In the park. Shit! 